MDCT bigwigs Dokazani Coop, Douglas Mwinsora and Morgan Kamichi will find it impossible to convene an extraordinary Congress as ordered by the Supreme Court, because legally the organs they must work with no longer exist in law according to Dr. Alex Magesa. In his latest installment of The Big Saturday Red, the UK-based law lecturer was analyzing the political dynamics of the MDC conflict in the aftermath of a court ruling ordering the opposition MDCT to hold an extraordinary Congress using the structures of the party that existed in 2014. If Dokazani Cooper Morgan Kamichi wish to convene an extraordinary Congress, they have to face the fact that legally the organs they must work with no longer exist in law. Magesa wrote that the Supreme Court gave them guns, but they have blank bullets. The extension of the organ's term limits cannot be implied. It has to be specifically ordered. They may have to approach the courts for an order. Whether the court has the power to make such orders is a question that would have to be confronted if the matter comes to court, Magesa added. Read full article, Big Saturday Red, Political Dynamics of the MDC Conflict. According to Magesa what makes the task even nearly impossible is that at law, an extraordinary Congress must be convened in cooperation with other organs of the party. Key organs include the National Council and the provincial structures. These organs and the Congress itself must constitute a core minimum number of members for their meetings and decisions to be valid. A two-thirds majority of members is the quorum for a Congress. That a majority of members are now part of the MDC alliance which they regard to be a distinct political entity, others have moved on with their careers. While others are deceased or retired, Magesa Rodenk Alliance Vice President Tendai Bidi has already said the judgment does not affect Chimis's presidency of the main opposition party in the country. The judgment affects an entity called the MDCT not MDC Alliance. We are the MDC Alliance, and our president is Nelson Chimisa. We will read the judgment and shelve the judgment in our libraries. It doesn't affect the MDC Alliance. The MDC Alliance was never cited in the South Carolina Supreme Court proceedings. Chamisa had appealed an earlier High Court ruling that confirmed Coop as the party's interim president following the death of party founder Morgan Stangerai in February 2018. Justices Paddington Garl, Barrett Patel and Antonia Guevara dismissed Chimisa's appeal and directed that Coop convene an extraordinary Congress within three months. The judges however conceded that their ruling was rendered moot, an academic having been overtaken by events. Chimisa, 42, narrowly lost the 2018 presidential vote to Emerson Nangagwa. He accused Nangagwa of rigging the vote and does not recognize his presidency. Supporters of Chimisa accused the ruling San UPF party of using the courts to emasculate the MDC and to force him to accept Nangagwa as legitimately elected. When the judgment was made early April, former higher education minister Jonathan Moyo said that it's unreasonable and absurd in the extreme for a court to find, as the Supreme Court did in the Coop matter, that the case is water under the bridge in moot, but ruled that it will construct a new bridge in the vain hope of recovering the spilled water to give life to a moot cause. UK-based lawyer Brighton Utebuka noted the same dilemma, at this rate, Kamichi might have to return to Justice Patel and seek an order to compel MDCA members to attend the intended charade. It looks like the defection started and ended with Kamichi and Winsoro only. It's the able Musariwa parable all over, three helicopters v one parliamentary seat. In politics, power resides in the people and democracy and constitutionalism have to take people with them. A court order without the support of the people is a worthless piece of paper. He added.